Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll be sharing with you my technical analysis and price prediction for SLP. So if you're playing the game, make sure you watch the video till the end because I'll be talking about the SLP issuance as well. So how much SLP is being minted and burnt every day. This has a huge impact on the price of SLP. So if you're playing the game, you're breeding, you're, uh, you're whether you're ha having scholarships, make sure you watch the video till the end because it has a huge impact on your earnings. I'll also look at the number of users in this game the interest in this game if you have been watching our channel we got involved in slp uh, last year mid last year it went absolutely parabolic axi infinity uh, we shared our trade signal in axi infinity when it was less than ten dollars it 10 x it mooned and with all that hype, when something goes absolutely parabolic, if they can't continue growing, which it couldn't, you can see the number of users dropping, the price has dropped as well. So at the end of the video, guys, I'll be sharing with you my long-term thoughts on the project as well. So without further ado, guys, let's actually review what's happened to SLP. So SLP, guys, like I said, is, uh, if you if you watched our previous video, you already know, so Axie Infinity is the main token. SLP is, is the game, so when you play the game, you earn SLP, and you also need SLP to breed as well. So that's just just a quick high level watch my previous video uh, where I talked about you know what is SLP and how it gets used so you can check this video out I made this price prediction video so SLP this is when Axie Infinity was going absolutely parabolic all the news outlet even the general news outlet were talking about uh, Axie Infinity in the southern eastern world in the Philippines it was absolutely went parabolic people were leaving their jobs to play this the number of users as you can see was going up like crazy and this is what this is the high parabolic move up after that guys it topped out here it could not break above you know the 35 30 cent and then it started breaking down I made that video uh, around here you can check the price of SLP when I made that video and I did say that if it breaks down here I won't be interested in the game i myself played axi infinity not as much as pegaxi pegaxi i got involved a lot more again got involved here uh, and played that rally up and once it break down we used our technical analysis to get out same as the plan there again you can watch that video this is not after the fact one of the first things i teach in my trading strategy videos is if actually if a pro coin breaks his floor i'm not interested in it once it broke his floor and could not quickly get back above it, it was a very bearish signal for us and it broke down and um, same with you know Pegaxi. If Pegaxi breaks the floor, I made a video about Pegaxi yesterday, which it could is breaking the floor now. If it can't quickly get back above, it could be really bad for Pegaxi as well. If you are interested in you know taking your trading to the next level, get the updates daily. Um, there's so many coins still going up, even though it's a quiet market. There's you know uh, potential shorting opportunities as well. This is a short that we took in Avax, and uh, Rune is still pumping. So if you are interested in taking your trading to the next level, get all these updates in you know, SLP I posted when it broke down here and Pegaxi when we're getting in. So Pegaxi, I think it would be a good opportunity to get in in the next few months if it, the changes can work. If you are interested in all of that, I'll leave the links below. You get access to my three, three to four live streams a week. I do. Uh, there's a Telegram group that you get access to my strategy, which, where I talk about the really important strategy of when to, how to protect your wealth, and all that good stuff. I'll leave the links below. You can try us for less than thirty bucks. So let's come back to the SLP price. And then it broke down, and now it's just in this top zone mode. Uh, for me to just get involved, I mean, I'll talk about it at the end of the video. But for me, we had a nice trade up. Again, I made another SLP video. You can check that out. Uh, Axie Infinity and SLP video when it broke out, we took a nice trade. But for me to buy again, I need to see some structure. So lower high lower lows and you know go sideways accumulation and then buy it for now I'm still leaning bearish and the reason why is this burned and mint chart technical analysis and price prediction are great but at the end of the day it's all about supply and demand you know the first thing I teach uh, talking about first things these are some of the first principle of the trade strategy that I've built up over you know five six years is demand and supply when is there more demand and supply price goes up when there's less demand and more supply the price goes down if you go back and think in first principle first principles back mid last year there was a lot of demand for SLP. Everyone was trying to get involved. They're breeding, buying SLP. The price went absolutely parabolic. Then too much SLP were being minted. There's too much supply. And the price of SLP kept on dumping. Same is happening with Pegaxi. If you want to learn more about how this demand supply works, go check this video out. So that's what happened. It went parabolic and then it's dropping. So one of the key things I wanted to do in this video was look at some of the key dates of when the pumps and dumps happen and share with you what the chart did. So uh, one of the key dates for me would be around here so if we look at you know 2nd of July 2nd of July would be let me find 2nd of July this is American version so I'm assuming it would be 7th 
the 2nd of July. It, not much actually happened, but we can see that uh, the percentage being burnt and minted is pretty good. So a lot is being burnt, which is amazing to see. So you can see the uh, burnt ratio is still quite high and we like that don't we we want to see a lot more being burnt and uh, the burnt ratio was pretty good and then it started getting bad from you know august september last year that's when it started getting bad so our key date for me to check is this spike so this is the 13th of july uh, 13th of july the price uh, let's have a look 13th of july what happened yeah not much happened the burnt and mint ratio is still okay but it's not as good so if you check the 13th of july only 20 million got burnt and a lot more got minted whereas before a lot more was getting burnt so you can see uh, the more supplies coming and it's show, been shown in the price 22nd of july let's have a look what happened 22nd of july so 22nd of july is this date and you can see the amount that was minted and this showed on the price and not many people talk about this stuff you know they want to teach you crazy technical analysis like indicators and fancy stuff i try to go back to first principles and look at the psychology behind what is happening and you can see that we can also look at this date and i'm not just picking dates and maybe I, I do a free live stream on youtube as well next sunday same time as as this i'll do a live stream and if you are interested in axe infinity comment below and join the live stream we can look at this lives and I, i'm not picking the best date so i can pick any date and you know share with you uh, this date is 9th of august so 9th of august let's have a look at 9th of what happened 9th of august 9th of august actually not much happened uh, the mer but the mint burn ratio wasn't that different so this shows you this didn't have a huge impact the key date you know if you look at this chart you can go back and do this research yourself the key dates of when when there was a big spike but this was a really important day 5th of 4th of november and if you look at this chart when do you think 5th the 4th of november is unfortunately it is this date when we had one of the biggest mints uh, of slp and that is shown on the price and that has been literally the top of slp and then it's just being dumping it's almost down like 90 percent i mean it's even higher the spike is around there uh, and you can see the price is dropped like plus 90 percent since then uh, there has been some changes so there's been changes in adventure mode and you can check these dates so i can i'll check these dates for you so the first, uh, first of february so first of february you can see that the number of burnt has increased and the the amount of slp being minted is going down so this is a positive start um but the next question is yes the number that is being minted is going down but what we need to look at is is the number of players going up so if you look at before there was a huge increase of number of daily users but if you look at the 30 day chart the number of users hasn't really gone up we want to see the number of users going up as well if we see the number of users going up more being burned that's when we can get excited but this is a positive change again i made a video on slp and x infinity i touch on the reasons why the, the major update you can watch that video i talk in detail about the fundamental change Changes, which is good to see so uh, but what we need to see is the the although the the number that is being minted is going down which is great to see we want increase of users and more being burnt and you know we have another parabolic rally then we can expect the price of slp to go up so that's sort of the fundamental stuff let's come back to the technical analysis for me technical analysis wise i mean i've drawn this uh, accumulation what i want to see is i don't want to just see another spike we saw this spike people get excited and i've said in uh, in, in in youtube and posted and posted in a group i actually shared a short setup here and a few members in my group that was uh, playing and making money in slp they got out during that spike which was an amazing exit entry and for me i said the same thing take profits uh, this is just could be a rally and then it dump so what we now see what we want to see is lower highs so we want to see a lower high now we want to see trend changes pull back lower highs if we see something like this accumulation wyckoff accumulation this is another part of our trading strategy you can study it yourself if you want uh, study wyckoff i'm going to look some uh, wyckoff accumulation here if we see that maybe later in the year we could see a huge move up and if that is coincided with the price of uh, if we go back to this coincided with new users coming in more being burned the burn and mint ratio gets better for us then yes pump slp i might even get involved in the game i still stand by my prediction that it's still one of the best play to earn games you can see the market cup i'm going to quickly look at axs as well again that's another token to look at at the moment the chart is looking bearish and i if you ask me gun to my head what happens next if bitcoin breaks down this is like a floor price for me i think this could go back to on 10 and 20 dollars and if it does get back to the end, I'm not showing FUD guys. There's lots of other YouTubers that you can follow that will tell you up only, just go up, 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 and you know don't share uh, what's actually happening. You can go watch my video that I made almost you know six months ago. I made the same prediction that 
and um, if it does break down comes here and like I said I believe the game I believe in the project I might start buying and breeding again it could be an amazing opportunity I've not been in touch for, uh, fundamentally as much you peg Axi, I had my money in it we, we in our group the people made like 10x money and all that stuff so peg Axi is a that's a new game that we're getting involved uh, peg Axi is a uh, I'm, I'm a lot more up to date with the news backs infinity if it does get here and uh, you know i've got a few members in the group that are experts in play to earn if they share with me some positive news i'll get involved but if x infinity gun to my head i do think it goes lower if it starts consolidating start breaking up about 60 70 i can change my bias but for now same as this i do think we had lower and uh, potentially you know 30 20 dollar even 10 dollars next so that's my thoughts on x infinity price prediction slp it's a bit harder to make uh, the price prediction uh, obviously because there's so much involved it, you know if they make any changes to the game um the, there's so many other factors involved with this you know if they uh, come up with more burning mechanisms if they come up with um you know you need more slp for breeding and all that you know the fundamental changes it's really difficult to make a price prediction but i think we see something like this here so we're gonna just chop here more consolidation but the question is going to be is it gonna you know after this consolidation is it gonna break out or is it gonna break down so i'll probably make a prediction late uh, mid this year let me know if, if slp is of interest to you peg axis seems to be a popular one at the moment i know lots of people that move their money from x infinity to peg axi and they rode that rally up in viz and you know made 10 10x and crazy double triple their money and then um, there could be an opportunity to go into a new game and um, so price prediction wise i think we see chop and maybe head towards five six cent uh five or six cent uh, in the next few months that's my price prediction uh, long term guys uh, i'll share with you this alpha and not many people will share this with you they'll just talk about yeah one game one coin but unfortunately in cryptocurrency you have to move on from projects apart from bitcoin ethereum and you know maybe uh, luna at the moment uh, most coins you have to just go in and out if you look at cardano cardano was my one of the coins i made most of my money on and i traded cardano live on this youtube channel back from shelly mainnet launch last year the year before from 10 cent to three dollars and then i moved on to another project and unfortunately you you have to be quite smart about it when you see things that are not going your way you know some signals the charts breaking down users going down bad um tokenomics you have to move on to the next game and unfortunately we saw that with peg Axie. there's a few other games that we're looking at in the rocks trading group and um, that's how that's where the alpha is and unfortunately that's what big players do they move their money get newbies involved and i'm not saying i'm a whale that's what uh, new players do and that's what we try to understand what what are the big players the big whales are trying to manipulate and try to be try to trade with them rather than against them because if you're getting late in a project and uh, it starts going down it's best to take your loss and look at the next big thing the next shiny thing so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it hope i've explained it very well it's quite a difficult concept to understand if you're completely new let me know in the comment section below if the explanation is okay did you understand do you agree with what i've said with burn 10 mint ratio what is your thoughts on axi infinity and slp if there's some key updates from the game that i haven't followed and if there's some big alpha you think the game's gonna pump message me comment below i'll read about it and you know i'm i'm trying to make money as well if there's some big updates that i'm not aware of that's gonna have a huge impact on the game the tokenomics i'll buy some axes start breeding again like i did uh, early early last year so comment below uh, before in the video what is your price prediction for axe infinity and slp comment below your price prediction for slp thank you very much for watching this video guys if you are interested uh, in our videos are we doing another live stream so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button if there's any coins you want me to review I'll, uh, i'm asking you guys which coins to make ripple seems to be a popular one comment in the vid in this video below and the most popular next old coin i'll make a video on and just do a quick technical analysis video and then sunday evening 7 p.m uk time same as uh, this last week live stream i'll be doing another live stream on youtube you can ask me questions my technical analysis strategy question we'll just hang out for an hour hour and a half and we'll see what's good so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to our channel check out the group if you're interested in taking your trading to the next level joining our, our community if not guys just hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much